They have nearly 2 million members around the world and over 16,000 councils. But do you know who they are? Find out as we celebrate Columbus Day this week. Welcome to Catholic Planner, where we explore concrete ways of encountering God's presence in the week ahead by following our church's calendar of feasts and celebrations. Our country observes Columbus Day on the second Monday in October every year, remembering when Christopher Columbus landed in the United States. About 400 years after Columbus sailed the ocean blue, an Irish priest in Connecticut, Father Michael McGivney, desired to start a charitable organization for men to live out their Catholic faith in service to their community, and specifically to care for widows and orphans. Yet a good question to ask this week as we celebrate Columbus Day is this. Just why are the Knights of Columbus called the Knights of Columbus? Well, according to their website, Columbia and Columbus was used at the time of Father McGivney as synonymous with America and independence. Father McGivney initially chose the name Sons of Columbus, and yet in consultation with other founding members, the group decided upon Knights of Columbus. They concluded that, in contrast to a son, a knight lives by a code of ethics, aspires to virtue, and protects the most vulnerable, like that damsel in distress in all of the movies. The Knights of Columbus continue to the present day, and more than likely, your local parish church has a council. If you're interested in joining the Knights of Columbus, find out more from your local church. And listen, the Knights even have organizational branches for women and youth as well. That's your Catholic Planner for this 28th week of Ordinary Time. May this coming week find us courageously living the gospel in new ways. Until then.